Putrajaya, bandar futuristik yang akan menjadi pusat pentadbiran kerajaan persekutuan yang baru dilancarkan Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Dr. Mahathir Mohamad pagi tadi. Bandar bersempena nama Perdana Menteri pertama Tuanku Abdul Rahman Putra ini dilancarkan dalam upacara gemilang di tapak projek di Perang Besar. Projek berharga 20 bilion ringgit ini akan mempunyai jaringan maklumat dan prasarana paling canggih bersesuaian dengan konsepnya sebagai sebuah mega city. Putrajaya is a planned city located 25 km south of Kuala Lumpur that serves as the Federal Administrative Centre of Malaysia. Putrajaya was the brainchild of former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad on 19 October 1995. Putrajaya basically is administered by Perbadanan Putrajaya or Putrajaya Corporation. The Alik by Tansri Datuk Sri Dr. Asih Cik Mat. The Putrajaya Corporation main headquarters is located at Persiaran Perdana Putrajaya. Putrajaya Corporation basically have eight departments such as City Service Department, City Planning Department, City Development Department, Corporate Service Department and many more. As stipulated in Perbadanan Putrajaya Act, Putrajaya Corporation must perform all functions of a local government in federal territory of Putrajaya. It also functions to promote, stimulate, facilitate and undertake commercial infrastructure and residential development in the area. Apart from that, it also functions to promote, stimulate and undertake economic and social development in the area. Last but not least, Putrajaya Corporation control and coordinate the performance of the above activities in the area. The Ministry has launched a new policy in September, effective in the three territories under its jurisdiction, Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya and Labuan. Known as the Children's Playground Safety Policy, it facilitates the creation of a playground environment that is safe and presents a lower risk of accidents. It is believed that the policy will also help transform the playgrounds into sustainable green lungs for the country. The policy safety has been adapted in Putrajaya to improve the safety and lifespan of playground equipment. The policy also ensures that the maintenance of children's playground in the federal territories remains uniform and is conducted proactively every six months in compliance with the Malaysian safety standard. Among the crucial regulations enforced by the policy are the provisions of a suitable drop surface, provision of adequate space, identification and elimination of hazardous elements from playgrounds and emphasize on the importance of parental or a guardian supervisions. The playground safety is also to ensure that playground developers and owners only provide equipment that is suitable for children. It has highlighted the types of equipment that are potentially hazardous such as swing sets that are heavy, star shaped a type used by surfers or have multiple seats. Another important safety measure is encouraging parental supervision since some 40% of the accidents occurring on playgrounds could have been avoided if the children had been monitored.
The procedure to ensure the slide is safety is the slides that are up to 6 feet high need a pleasant that is 6 feet wide. Taller slides that extend up to 8 feet need a pleasant that is as wide as the equipment is tall. A wider pleasant is also mandatory for swings designed for children aged between 5 and 12 years as well as for the harness seat for swings designed for toddlers. The maintenance of playground should also be a regular and continual process where all playground equipment that is past its prime is replaced. The importance of maintenance because this was an aspect often left neglected by playground developers and owners even though continual maintenance can prevent accidents. The Putrajaya Corporation had made the right adoption of the playground safety because it is important to prevent the injury and also to give safety to the children in that area. The Cabinet in its meeting held on October 19, 2005 have agreed to adopt the Green Earth Campaign in order to promote cultivation practices to help reduce household spending and boost the economy of the community. The campaign launch was officiated by the 5th Prime Minister, Tun Abdullah Ahmad Badawi, at the national level on March 3, 2006. Campaign has made Green Earth program to replace the Green Book program has been successful in producing farmers and ranchers successful not only in terms of harvesting farm and produce high yield and quality farming but also increases the level of the national economy and people's living standards in the country. By the end of 2009, there were eight community gardens in Putrajaya active in gardening activities such as Community Gardens Tamarim Badesa, Community Gardens Quarters Apartment, Community Garden in Harmony Garden and many more. Implementation of the Green Earth Campaign and cultivation practices in urban areas play an important role to raise resources to cultivate their own food so that community was equipped with the knowledge and way of life that not only can contribute to lesser the household expense, but also empower community in case of natural disasters happen that may restrict the flow of food to the safe centers. In local government of Putrajaya, Green Earth program was emphasized participation from residents to cooperate with the neighbors in the success of community gardens for cultivation activities. Putrajaya Corporation in the discharge of its functions as a local authority takes place as the facilitator for the community so they can plan their development roadmap for their farms taking into account the rules and conditions laid down. Successful close cooperation fostered by the program committee between people with Putrajaya Corporation in order to empower people to plan, develop and take responsibility for the local neighbourhoods has got a very good response from the people in Putrajaya as voiced by current community in cooperation workshop Local Agenda 21 program held at the Maritime Centre, Pressing 6, Putrajaya in November 2009. Potentially, it is also seen to be a stepping stone for people to be eyes and ears of the cooperation in the monitoring of public areas and green areas that are safeguarded beauty and prosperity. Pond ini mula dibuka dalam tahun 2009 dan kini mempunyai lebih kurang 20 orang. Jenis tanaman yang saya tanam di sini adalah seperti jagung, cebu, kledi, limau, Kangkung dan sawit. Saya berkebun di sini mendapatkan hasil tanaman saya dan saya untuk menyiapkan kebunan saya dan saya juga berteraya. Putra Jaya Corporation was represented by the Planning and Control Landscape, has held several coordination sessions, presentations and training methods in the planting and care of the garden throughout the year with the involvement of Horticulture Unit of Putrajaya Corporation, Department of Agriculture in Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya Corporation's Community Development Unit. Property Management Divisions, BPH, Prime Minister Department acts as the coordinator for the involvement of the occupants of government quarters. 
Tapi di Bandar Perbelanjaan Pendai Jaya, sebagai Mas Degar Degar datang ke tapak pun komuniti ini, kita memantau dan menasihat apa, apa yang perlu dilakukan oleh pun komuniti ini, sebelum mereka dapat aksi yang baik. Sebagai sokongan dan galakkan kepada peserta-peserta kebun, Jabatan Pertanian memberikan ibu-ibu pertanian seperti benih sayuran, baju, kompos, peralatan pertanian dan juga pihak kami memberi sokongan khidmat dan sihat kepada peserta-peserta. Implementation of the Green Earth Campaign and cultivation practices in urban areas play an important role to raise resources to cultivate their own food so that community was equipped with the knowledge and way of life that not only can contribute to lesser the household expense, but also empower community in case of natural disasters happen that may restrict the flow of food to the safe centers. As an emerging city, Putrajaya has the opportunity to plan the use of light selectively, creatively and appropriately throughout the entire external environment. An attractive and pleasant nighttime image is achieved through coordinate and planned efforts spearheaded by the local authority through the Putrajaya Lighting Master Plan and the Putrajaya Good Lighting Practice Guidelines published in 2002. The Lighting Design Guide was drawn from an aspiration to extend the day ambience of the city into the night and thus creating a different set of experience for visitors. The quest for an identifiable identity of the city has led the planners and designers to study the details of the city's landscape components to reinforce the concept of the city in the garden. Various design options that engage traditional cultural motifs on the theme street furniture was explored to create miniature landmarks such as street light installations and signage. Some of the purpose of Putrajaya Lighting Master Plan are fostering the city image and character through lighting, nighttime ambience influence through architectural lighting area and to reducing energy consumption. In order to make sure that the lighting is well functioned and well run based on the plan, there were some policy established by the Putrajaya Corporation. Some of the policy that were already being placed into number is the policy tree was established lead gateways to the main entrances into Putrajaya from perimeter roadway system. Then, policy 4 was to engage the necessary personnel to secure the comprehensive implementation of the lighting objective of the lighting master plan within Putrajaya Corporation and policy 8 was to establish maximum limits on the luminance of internally and externally illuminated advertising and signage. In short, the Putrajaya Lighting Master Plan ensures the nighttime ambience of Putrajaya is attractive and appropriate to a city of its status and function in which the lighting display the spirit of the city. The lighting design must be developed to embody the main theme of simplicity, unity and dignity that underpins the city's urban statement. The lighting fixtures nor the lighting itself, however, should draw attention to it and should not be frivolous. In short, all the programs that have been planned by the Putrajaya Corporation have made Putrajaya to be a safe and beautiful city. Besides that, the efforts of Putrajaya Corporation have made Putrajaya to become one of the attractive places to be visited by the tourists. The most successful result from the efforts of Putrajaya Corporation has made Putrajaya be awarded with the world's first intelligent garden city.